Good evening, YouTube. It's Finish It Friday. This is Michelle, and I wanted to do a quick share of what I've been able to get done today. Um, I think this is going to be a good weekend for me to knock out quite a few of these mostly done projects, but wanted to give you a quick share. So I think let's start with this mini envelope album. So when I showed this to you on Thursday, the cover wasn't completed. So let me show you what I've done. I went on ahead and it's so funny, I had all of these pieces done, I just needed to put it together. So what I've done, the paper stash that I used on this mini is the haberdashery and I got it paper from, it's a paper studios, I'm pretty sure I got it from Hobby Lobby. And I absolutely love this paper stack. This, um, all of the designs are done on craft. And then just some beautiful colors. All of my earth tones and black and creams and burgundies. So what I did to add a little sparkle and shine, I had some Maya Rhodes chipboard pieces. Those are the sewing. This is the sewing set. And I went on ahead and embossed those in metallic colors. But I mixed in glitter and some sequins and really just liked the way it came out. So lots of sparkle and shine, especially because the paper is already so dark, so I really needed to brighten it up. And then the paper flowers here, all from my stash. Uh, there's some Michaels flowers. There's a Prima flower. And then the rose trim is also from my stash. So that's the front cover. And then it's a pretty chunky spine. Nothing there. And then the back has the same paper as the front. So let me show you on the inside. Again, this was um, an envelope mini. And I'm going to move these out the way. Ginger from My Sister Scrapper did the video. And I finished it fairly quickly, uh, the actual pages. But just needed to get this cover knocked out. So what I've done since my show the other day is I had a pocket. I did run the trim the full length of the inside. I think she had, uh, this is the hidden binding system and there was a lot of space in between for embellishment but because of my paper choice I just didn't want to do too much to the pages. I've got a lot going on. But I did add, this pocket was here but I added a little mini book here. There's tuck spots on both sides there as well as this is a little fold out it goes like this it opens up like that and then like that so again you can just see how incredible this paper is there's a lot of sparkles shine but then it has my earth tone so again this is my favorite stack Ooh, i really liked tim holtz wallflower but this really has kind of Come right on up there. So let me just show you how the pages work. It's made of envelopes, two envelopes together. Uh, you put the one inside of the other to actually make the, the unit. And so on front here, there's a pocket space here, and the pockets are all different. And then you flip it open. You see that paper? Is that paper not incredible or what? Love it. And then there's a space here. And I've got a tag in each of these pockets. The top also has space for a tag. So this is a papers on both sides. And then when you open up the inside, there's matting for photos. So the one thing I did add is, in addition was these bead charms, these little bead dangles. I saw that um, one of the crafters on Junk Journal Junkies 
had put bead dangles on her tabs, and I just thought that was so fabulous. And I appreciate all of you who can make bead dangles. Let me tell you something. I have tried, and by the time I start wrapping that wire around, it looks crazy. So this actually came from a bracelet that uh, came apart. And so I have all of the dangles already done. So I'll just do a quick flip through. Here's this page. This page. Open it up. And this tag comes out. There's a beautiful bird. Like I said, I love this paper. Stack. There's this one. Just great. There's birds, there's butterflies, there's clothes, and even some chairs. I guess you have to have some place to sit while you're waiting for the haberdasher to fix your outfit. This is the last one here. Okay. And then the back is plain. So there's one. So that is done. I just need to put my label on the back and bag that up. I wanted to show you, I had a couple of Poet Spice 6x9 mailers. I had made the mailing envelopes out of various papers and showed these previously. So let me show you. This one here was my alligator crocodile. It's still pretty thick or it's still you know, pretty gapped, but I had it all done except just wasn't sure if I was going to try to close it. And I happened to find this oatmeal colored lace in my stash, and it really goes well. This is done with the archivist paper. Again, my earth tones, another one of my favorite paper stacks. So what I did was I just ran the lace. There was already an eyelet here for the dangle. So I just ran the lace through the eyelet just around and then just tied it in a bow. So that way at least it's not, it's still gapping, but it's not as wide as it was. So that one is done, ready to be packaged. And then this last one that needed some additional work. This was pretty much finished. I did decide for the closure, I wasn't sure if I was going to use this on this uh, birdie clip on this journal or on the other one and I decided I just like it with the birds from um, Ephemera's Vintage Garden there. So this was done. I've shown this on a previous video but the back because of this handmade paper I went on ahead and reinforced the back by putting in a piece of cardstock as well as on the lip of the, the closure here because this paper is just so fragile. I added a brad and now okay in theory It's easier than I thought. It just slips under the bread. Okay, so that one is done. And then I always believe that as you finish up old projects, you have to try your hand at some new ones as well. This was an envelope wallet that I saw again on Junk Journal Junkies. Um, went on Junk Journal Junkies, showed it, but there are many people who have done the, the tutorial. I need to find out who was the original creator of the tutorial, but I just have a quick little loop here adhered with a ribbon, and you open this up like this, and right here in the front, there's a tag that comes out Again, this is using 
that haberdashery paper. This is another one of the pages from it. There's that bread. I like those breads. I'm not sure where I got those. You flip it open. So I'm going to lay it down like this. And move it up some, I guess. And I put some little, these are just little journal sheets here. Just some paper for my stash. And I just put a little stamping on them. So those go in there. Here, we've got a gatefold. You open that up. And, whoo-hoo, got out my sewing machine. So this little booklet together, that's a Prima stamp. I just kind of stamp those pages. It's a back sheet there for a picture, for some notes. And then each of these side pockets have tags that come out. So there's a tag on this side and a tag on that side. So you have to make new projects but finish the old. One is silver and the other is gold. I'll keep sharing as I keep completing. So thanks again. Hope you're having a fabulous Finish It Friday. This is Michelle. Happy scrapping.